If you're a photographer or a wedding venue, we need to have a chat. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rich, myself and Michelle. We have a YouTube channel on here and we create a lot of epic content, whether it be YouTube, filmmaking, creating, photography, and that's kind of what we do, a lot of YouTube content. So we're out there to give you guys some tips and advice and you'll notice along the way some pretty cool visuals and a serious sneaker fetish. So let's get straight into this video. Now recently there's been a number of wedding venues closing down in South Africa, including offering massive 50% discounts and just trying to get consumers back to their wedding venues. Now I'm talking pre-COVID. This was around before all of this actually started happening. And this is actually when I wanted to make the video and everything kind of happened and the video is only coming out now. It's 2020. Marketing and online presence is absolutely important. Charging a potential wedding couple, an engaged couple, two and a half to three and a half thousand rand to utilize your wedding venue premises, your gardens, for a photo shoot is absolutely absurd. Majority of the time, these wedding venues are charging more than the photographer charges the couple just to do the shoot on the premises. Now, you don't have to give me, well, it costs them money to maintain the gardens. I know all of that. And that's what the price of a wedding is for. They are not booking a lot of engagement shoots at a venue. That is not a source of income. So why even charge that? But this is where it gets interesting. All these wedding venues ask you to tag them. They ask the couple to tag them. But if you've paid for it, why do you need to tag them? That free gesture kind of business includes that. You know, I'll film your restaurant if you tag me, vice versa, and we both score out of it. But why does a photographer pay a wedding venue to utilize their premises and then still get asked to tag them? And then the wedding venue still utilizes the photographer's images for marketing. None of this makes sense. Now, if you're a wedding venue and you're watching this, let me open your mind. I do understand that you cannot let every single photographer walk onto your premises and just shoot as they please. But a simple and easy booking plan, whether you accept only one photographer per day on a Tuesday and a Wednesday. So that's two days a week. It's entirely up to you. They're also only allowed there for two hours. Whatever it may be, whatever you decide as a wedding venue for your marketing strategy. Now this is gonna blow your mind. Every single wedding venue is out on social media and they're advertising, giving discounts, giving stuff away, trying to get their name out there, trying to get seen with the amount of photos that they have of their wedding venue. And they're utilizing these photographers' images to promote their business. Now imagine if you opened up your wedding venue for a free shoot, not charging the photographer or the couple to come there on a Tuesday and a Wednesday. In the end, this is what you have. You'll have two couples a week, two photographers a week. That's eight couples a month and eight photographers. If you wanna break that down even further, you're talking about 16 different social media profiles for a normal person and eight photographer profiles spread across different genres of social media where they will most likely tag your venue purely because you've allowed them to shoot there free of charge. Now at what price would a venue have to pay so much money to have all that exposure sent out there and get people drawn to their wedding venue. On top of that, I think it would be pretty justified to ask the photographer or the couple, purely because you shot there for free, to send them some of the images so that they could utilize it. It's kind of a two-way street over here. You're allowing them to shoot there for free, but you're also getting allowed to utilize some of the images for your marketing. Now, if you're gonna go into the comments and you're gonna say, oh, but they can't live off exposure. Wedding venues do not live off of getting engagement shoots done at their premises. In actual fact, most wedding venues do not have engagement shoots done on their premises purely because they charge so much and no one wants to go there. So you would go to botanical gardens or a field or a park where it's free or it's gonna cost you, you know, 20 to 30 rand to enter. What I'm trying to get to here is why are you charging as a wedding venue two and a half to three and a half thousand rand to let a couple utilize your gardens once twice a week. Now I know a lot of wedding venues allow the couples that have booked their wedding to actually shoot the engagement shoot at the wedding venue, but this is not what we're talking about. We're talking about allowing people that get engaged, the excitement is there, they're only gonna get married in a year or two, allow them to find a nice place to shoot. After all, this is South Africa. It's not very easy for a photographer to find a safe place to go shoot at. 
So that's my rant. I'm truly tired of hearing wedding venues in South Africa begging that they don't have enough exposure or stealing photographers' images to promote on their website. I just wanted to get this out there. If you are a photographer and you felt this pain, please drop a comment below, let me know what you think. If you are a wedding venue that has decided to change your strategy and open up, drop the comment in below, let us know who you are so we can contact you guys and shoot with you. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe and support the channel. Wherever you are in the world, have a good day, good evening, good night, goodbye.